This morning we're going to do some things with um, sign numbers. And if I write this on the board, that's going to stand for a, what's your turn? It's positive 7, it'll stand for check. You know, a check that you get from your grandmother at Christmas time or something like that. And um, if I write, uh, tell me what this is. What is that? John. A bill. Uh, negative 3 will stand for a bill for, uh, what kind of a bill? When I say a bill, what do we mean? Sharon. Well, what's the bill for you? Or a bill from you? All right. A bill like when you owe someone something. Money. All right. Um, well, I guess I need somebody that has a bank balance. Has somebody got a bank balance? Can you remember these? Yeah. Yeah. The five to seven stands for check, and the negative three stands for a bill when you owe somebody. All right. Um, have you got some money in the bank, Dana? Now, it doesn't have, you don't really have to have this money in the bank. I have one dollar. You got one dollar. <laughs> All right. Dana has one dollar in the bank. And I'm a postman. And I'm going to bring some two letters to Dana. And in one envelope, there's this. And in another envelope, there's that. And I want you to tell me what those two stand for. Sharon. Well, um, the positive six is seven dollars for a check for seven dollars, and um, positive three stands for another check, and so in that delivery fee, it's got seven dollars for seven. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, I'm and Debbie, what do you say? Um, ten dollars. Ten dollars. Is it ten dollars rich or poor? No, it's rich. You said that that was a bill, so that would be plus. A bill for three dollars. You know, baby, the positive is not a negative. The positive is not a negative. Is that a positive? Yeah. Okay, can you see it all right? And so Dana is richer by how much after this one? Ten dollars. And how should I write that to show he's richer? Lost. Positive ten. And I'll put a positive in front of it to show that he's richer by. $10. Uh, what do you suppose that's going to do to his bank balance? <coughs> the money's gotten his bank up in his room. Quick. Um, when you add it to one, you bring it up to $11. All right. Now how much is, what's his, Dana? $11. Dana's got $11 in his bank. All right. Um, new bank balance. Joe? $64. Joe has $64. <laughs> and let's see, the postman's going to bring Joel, um, <laughs> who's going to tell me the postman's story for that? You need that, all right. Um, uh, let's see, Mary. Postman comes and brings a check for $7, and then he comes and brings a bill for $5. And how does Joe end up after that delivery, right after the delivery man? He ends up $2 different. All right, how should I write that? Positive two. Do you want to come here? <coughs> What's it going to do to Joe's uh, main bank balance? Mm -hmm. What's that going to do to his regular bank balance? Karen? He's going to have $66. Do so, you want to come write that? Mm -hmm. Do you agree with Karen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that what Joel ends up with that day? All right. I guess I need a new bank balance. Uh, let's see. John. $99.99. All right. We'll round that off to $99. Mm -hmm. Okay? John has ninety-nine dollars, and the postman comes, and uh, what does he do? What does the postman do? Uh, first, I guess I want a story for that, Eric. Well, first he brings he, br he brings two checks, and one is for five dollars, and one is for four dollars. No bill. No. No. What do you bill? Okay, um, the person comes and brings a bill for $5 and a bill for $4. And so he's $9 um, poor. 
And what do you say, uh, Dana? I'm probably going to go for $5 and next week. Didn't go for $4, so it's $9 less. How should I write the $9? Do you, you agree with that, Ray? Yes. Yeah. How would I write that to show that he's $9? Oh, and what yeah. would you want to come right there? And, John, what on earth is that going to do to your bank account? Nothing. Go right up on the board. Would you like to come right in here? Oh, thanks. Come right in here. All right. How much have you got in the bank now? Alex. One dollar. Okay. 